in the house and the kids were driving me absolutely crazy. I mean, jumping, screaming nonstop, a Johnny screaming at the kids. The, I mean, the twins, the twins screaming at a Johnny. Mommy, that's because I was so, playing Fortnite and they were bothering me. You heard them. I decided to get out the house. It's hot as hell. And instead of me driving, I decided to walk like two blocks down to 7-Eleven. Go get them some ICs. And I probably just walk around the block. Uh, maybe go to the park. Uh, maybe go to the park or something. We'll see. Every flavor, mommy. Strawberry by itself, you like? No. Well, the strawberry's not icy enough yet. Mommy, I want every How flavor. Can you clean it underneath over there? No, but the corner. And the corner over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. sorry. Round and round we go, losing self-control I keep telling myself, but I don't want to let you know Is this what we become? Strangers on the run Looking for something, chasing the sun That's yummy, huh? It's hot out here. Mommy, we're in the shade. <laughs> Did you guys see me about to get ignorant up in 7 Eleven? I was up in there trying to get my Slurpee, <laughs> and the worker was like all around me, sleeping around me. Like, I just thought that was rude as hell. You either tell the customer, hold oh, on, God. or you like wait till the customer is done. Don't start sweeping all that dust around my damn kids and shit. Let me tell you guys how fat I am. It's hot as hell outside. I said I was gonna take the kids for a walk, walk around, just let them, you know, inhale the outside, the fresh air, everything, or the polluted air in LA, whatever it is. It's too damn hot to be walking around in this sun, child. I cannot do it. So I walked my fat ass back to my car. <laughs> I put my kids in the car and we just gonna drive around um, got the AC blowing I thought about going to the mall but um, it's a few stuff that I need to get there and, and then I'm over here by Randy's Donuts and it's a long ridiculous line that I'm not even gonna do right now because it's just too hot for this shit so Gotta find a different donut spot. I just wanna get the kids like a treat or something. Something something sweet. And I don't wanna get them ice cream because it's gonna melt. It's just messy. They don't really eat it. Like my kids are just weird like that. So I don't know. Let's see where we end up at. We ended up right back home. Nothing to do out there. So I'm getting dinner started. The twins are watching. Lilo and Stitch, I think, with my nephew, and then Johnny is watching Fortnite. Um, I have my vegetables frying right now, or sauteing right now, and then I'm just gonna make some, like, I don't know, some chicken, something. I don't know. This smells really good. I just bought this new seasoning and oh, this is gonna be a taste tester. 
and I am too lazy to cook rice so we are going to simplify it rice cooker baby I actually cook most of my rice in this thing who cares back over here this is looking good What you eating, Mari? No. You eating strawberry? You, don't even do that you guys say hi. Uh, I'm to no. Come, Mary. Come drink some water. Mmm, yummy water, huh? All right. It's been about 20 minutes. And this is the final result for the chicken. I sure hope it tastes good. I'll show you guys the seasoning that I use. Okay, let me see if it'll focus. One of my Facebook, not my Facebook, one of my Instagram friends had tagged this lady. Um, Granny's Kitchen or something like that. Oh, here it is. Um, Granny Esther Kitchen. So this is my first time using it. This is Creole seasoning and then she has another one. I got this one that says burger and fry seasoning. She actually has like maybe five or six different seasonings but these were the ones that would best apply to me and what I cook. So I'm just really hoping and praying they taste good. And here is the finished product. We got the chicken, the rice and the vegetables. Y'all hear my kids screaming? Funny as shit, I'm sitting here editing videos and my son is like, my son and my nephew are talking and my son is like, mommy, if you made your own song, what would be the name of it? And so I'm like, leave me alone. Go, go. And they made up their own song. Leave Listen, me alone. how does the song go? Leave me alone. Go, 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 go. What language are you guys speaking? can hear me this is the madness I have to go through help send help my twins are over there fighting over a pillow I can't be the only one that goes through this please tell me I'm not the only one that goes through this What? I don't want to go. No. Go work it out with him. And this is what I go through. After this, I'm going to need a drink.
the twins are ready for bed and Johnny has taken his shower and I still have about another oh it's 7 50 I'm putting them to bed at 8 o'clock I know it's a Saturday night and I usually try to keep them up a little bit later but honey they have been screaming and crying the whole day working my nerves it is time for me to pop open a bottle of wine and sip honey This almost hit. No, it's it's two different hits. It's two different feelings. You know, in the morning when you get like that first sip of coffee and you just like, <sighs> okay, well in the evening when you've had a long day and you take that first sip of wine, honey. I can't even explain it to you. It's much needed. Cheers. Mari, you're supposed to sit down and watch the TV, honey. Today's adventure starts the little The twins are finally asleep, and I was gonna wait to put a Johnny to sleep because I was waiting for my sister to come for my nephew, but I texted her and she's like, no. I'm not coming for him till 11, which I texted her. Let's just all be adults here. We're all women. I texted her back and I was like, you interrupted my adult fun right now, honey, because I got someone coming over tonight. And she laughed and she was like, just put him to bed in. I'll text you before I get there. So it's time to put a Johnny to sleep. It's time to put my nephew to sleep and carry on from there. I need to pour me another glass of wine. All right, I went ahead and refilled my glass. Cheers again. And my fat ass has some Doritos. Um, I'm just waiting for the kids to fall asleep. I got company coming over tonight. <laughs> um, I just kind of wanted to touch on a subject that's kind of been bothering lately because bothering me lately because right now I got a whole lot of my family members talking shit about me about situations that they don't even know about or what's going on and without making anyone look bad I do want to say be careful who you feel sorry for because people will play the victim when they've done others wrong. And they always try to make me look like the bad person. Oh, I talked back. Oh, I shouldn't have said this. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. But at the end of the day, I'm about to be 35 years old. I'm not disrespectful, but at the same time, I will stand up for myself. I will stand up for what's right. And... I'm not going to allow, allow anyone to like m verbally, emotionally, mentally try to abuse me. And I've dealt with that enough. I'm over here trying to record and my son and my nephew are fighting for whatever reason, arguing over whatever boys argue about. A Johnny doesn't want to get in the bed with my nephew. So I told a Johnny to get in my bed. I told my nephew to get in Eli's bed. And a Johnny's like, no, take your socks off. Take your this off. Take your that off. I don't want my bed dirty. Whatever. Anyway, um, a lot of people don't know because I don't speak on it. And a lot of people won't believe me. But a lot of people don't know about the emotional and verbal abuse that I've had to go through you know with this person 
constantly telling me I ain't shit. Constantly telling me I'm a bad mother. Constantly, this person has never been accepting of any relationship that I have been in. You know, it was always like, and, and I swear to God, I cannot make this shit up. I've always had to deal with, that person is too black. That person is African. They're weird. That person has dreads. They look weird. Why would you be with a person like that? You know, they've never, no matter who I have been with since the beginning of time when I have started dating, this person has never been accepting of any person I have ever been in a relationship with. Now, I have black children. Keep in mind, my daddy is black. My grandfather was black, darker than my kids, okay? I've had to deal with, you know, oh, yeah. Johnny's getting too black. Don't do that shit to my children. Don't do that shit to my children. I struggle. And I don't struggle every day, but I do my daily motivations affirmations with a johnny every day where he's saying black is beautiful he's black and he's proud because he has enough shit that he has to grow up and deal with in today's society being a black man don't do that to my kids and if i have to withdraw my kids from a certain situation so that they don't hear certain stuff or that they don't go through certain stuff family or not please believe that's what i'm gonna do because it's fucked up. It's really fucked up to do that to your own family, your own kids, family members, whatever it is. It's fucked up. And so, right now, of course, all my family's talking out the side of their ass about shit they don't know about. And trying to paint me out to be this bad person. Okay, I'll take it. Whatever. But what I do have to say is, if you don't know what's going on, shut the fuck up. If you weren't there, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know the situation. Don't go feeling sorry for people just because they make themselves out to be the victim. If you do not know what's going on, shut the hell up about it and stop running off at the mouth. Keep my name out of your mouth. Just stop talking shit. And whoever don't want to deal with me after this, don't deal with me because at the end of the day, nobody reaches out to me anyway. I can't remember the last time I got a, hey, how you doing? I got people who, <laughs> my family members be going out all kind of places. I don't ever get invites. So it is what it is. You know, like don't nobody fuck with me anyway. I'm by myself. I've built my own relationships with my own friends and my own friends treat me better than my own family members. So it is what it is. I'm not bashing my family members. I'm not putting nobody down. I'm just speaking the truth and you guys know the truth. So it is what it is. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. So I need to get up and do some things. But don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell. I have some cool videos coming up and I will see you in another video. Good night.